Hey, there's Pete, GCI Turf, and uh, I know this is going to be a kind of unusual video uh, for me because if you've been watching my channel any, you know I'm a yard guy and do a lot of yard work and uh, spraying and weed control and fertilizer, so that's what you're used to seeing, but I actually had a, a gentleman, actually two or three people, uh, one gentleman in particular, can't remember his name, asked if I would uh, do a video on my equipment that I use to make these videos, which uh, I wasn't expecting that, but um, uh, it's all good. So here it is, um, uh, just to throw it out there. And you wanna kind of show you, now before I get into this, I'm not uh, the major uh, techno guru type guy. I don't know all the ins and outs. I don't do a lot of editing. Uh, I keep my videos and my stuff as simple as I can possibly keep them. Uh, reason is, is, I just don't have a lot of time to do all that other stuff uh, as far as editing goes and all. So I'm a busy guy. So uh, I like to keep it simple. Um, so this, this is probably your bare bones basic uh, stuff that you would need or or I use, excuse me, you can buy what you want to buy. Um, I started off using GoPro and this was my first camera right here, this little Hero 4. It, it's pretty good, nice, nice little camera, little action camera. You can mount it on different machines, different pieces of equipment. Uh, here's my, uh, Hero, I think it's a Hero 5 maybe. I think it's one of the newer ones they got out. And then this was a cheaper version, it's the uh, Session. And of course I got the little attachments and the little uh, tripod stands for it. And I've got, I actually got a small fortune in this GoPro stuff and it's a shame because I don't use it nowhere near as much as I used to. Um, got these little mount thingamajiggies where you can mount it on stuff. And, uh, but when I'm doing some action shots of working in the yard, uh, I'll use this stuff a lot. Um, just because if I get it dirty or mess it up, it's no big deal. Uh, I do 90, 95% of my videoing with my iPhone 8 Plus. That's what I typically use. And uh, I like it because it's simple. I use the iMovie to edit. And then um, it's got uh, 4K. So I do all my videos in 4K now. Um, I use this on occasion. This is a gimbal, is what it's called. You put your phone in and it kind of stabilizes the phone, holds it nice and steady. Uh, this particular brand is the um, uh, Zyuen, I guess, I think it's the way you say it. I'm trying to find the name of the thing so I can show it to you. Um, here we go. Zyuen, whatever that is. And uh, you can tell by this video right here that you're watching that I'm not, uh, I'm not really worried about how stable the camera is or any of that kind of stuff. I've watched some other videos about how to make videos and I just, I can't get into all that, sorry. Um, I like to keep it simple. Uh, a little tripod, just a little simple tripod that adjusts and goes up to about two foot or so. Then I've got a real big one that, that'll get the phone or get the camera up about six foot off the ground. My wife said it about 10 years. Um, this thing, this is pretty neat. Uh, I saw this on uh, Wrangle Star. It's a channel I watch. I like that guy, man. Good dude. And I've got the phone mounted in here. Um, it kind of holds the camera. Now, this is two separate parts. This is a ready cam. It's kind of so, I guess it's stainless steel or something, maybe. But it, uh, it has this screw adapter where it'll screw on uh, these type fittings here. And basically, if, if I'm doing a long shot or long video and I don't want to hold the phone, it's just a little more comfortable holding this thing. And it also screws on your tripod like so. Then you can tilt it around or pan it around. And my, I guess this is a selfie stick maybe? GoPro? It's, it, well, you can hold it on out away from you. 
and uh, it's got the same ready cam type deal. And I've got a Rode mic that uh, you have to have an adapter for it, that little white adapter right there, so it works with the, the iPhone. And I use my GoPro uh, clip here, right there, and then I had to buy that adapter up in there. I don't know if you can see it, but I can get the phone to focus. It's, it's a little adapter that connects the GoPro clip to the ready cam and uh it was like 59 cent on ebay or something so um that's that my little selfie stick uh Zyulian, this ready cam and when i'm kind of outside and it's windy or something and the volume's not working real good i just got a a road uh i think they call these things a lavalier mic or something or another uh, you have to have this adapter that goes to the uh, iPhone for that, and I don't I don't understand or know. I know that the three there's three lines and two lines for one or something like that. I have no idea what that means. I just watched the video and bought the one the guy said it to buy, and then of course my favorite, my DJI Phantom Four Pro. Uh, that thing is bad to the freaking bone. Um, I do a lot of overhead shots of uh, um, my yard and yards that we service and work on and that kind of thing. And that just brings a whole new perspective to a video. I just, I'm crazy in love with that Phantom 4 Pro. It's awesome. So, um, uh, as I said, I, I do a lot of video on the fly, on the go. I don't do a lot of thinking about the videos. I just start making a video and what comes out is what comes out. And um, I use my iPhone 8 Plus to do 95% or so of the videos. And I also edit it on the iPhone. Uh, so the, one of the really cool things about the iPhone 8 Plus is you can do a screen recording video. And I don't know what other phones do that and really don't care. I just know mine does it and it's pretty neat. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip over to that and show you how I edit a video right quick. So what I do is for editing, go to iMovie. You get the little plus and then you can start a new movie, a trailer or whatever. Uh, let's cancel that. And go to this one right here that I kind of got set up for a demo. And you can, uh, it's super duper simple. You just click on the picture and you can split it or duplicate it or detach it. Take That's how you take the, the, the sound out of it. Um, it's just all kind of easy things to do here. It's all very intuitive. Uh, that's how I'm able to do it. If you want to add audio, um, like that, and there you go. take that back out so you can hear me uh, you want to add a picture um, you just simply go to albums photos and then <coughs> excuse me pick you out something we'll add those peppers right there and <coughs> excuse me you can go here, oh, I forgot to show you this. You can, here's where you do your, your speed. You can speed the video up or slow it down. Uh, you can make the volume higher or lower. You can add text to it by, you know, simply doing that and then uh, we'll just type in text. And there you go. It kind of pops up, Whoop, there it is. Um, just super duper easy to use. You can change the uh, color of the picture. Well, that's a summertime picture right there. So make it bright, darker, black and white, whatever. Just lots of things you can do with the iMovie app. And of course, I'm not gonna get too, uh, I'm not gonna get super involved in all the editing and all that because I just simply don't have time and this is super duper simple and it it works best uh, works really good for me so uh, 
Hope this answers your question, bud, on what I use for doing videos, and um, it's just a simple way to do it. All right, man. Have a good night.